Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines and a special Friday to those watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, we visit Trenchtown where last night was a deadly attack, a deadly shooting. Now, seven persons were shot, two fatal. Among those seven persons, a child was shot as well. Now, the names of the deceased, them call them Romain, a.k.a. Cooley, or Crutch, and also Nico. Those are the two who were confirmed dead on the spot. However, the other persons were badly injured. Now, based on information, early last night, residents were gathered up location in Bocas Trench Town when gunmen pulled up in the community. Those gunmen were members of the fatherless crew. Now, those members of the fatherless crew fired several shots, hitting seven persons. Unfortunately, two men died on the spot. The other persons are now in hospital nursing gunshot wounds. Now a young lady was shot in her head as well and she is in hospital nursing serious serious gunshot wounds as well. However she is not dead. She is battling for her life. She is considered in critical condition. May I tell the people very very sad indeed. Now the attack is a reprisal for the killing of a top tier gangster of the fatherless crew back in August by members of the Bocas gang. However, this is why this was a reprisal last night by members of the fatherless crew. Now the police are seeking Pepe, Shamar and Jojo who can assist them in this investigation. I believe that they were the trigger men behind the attack last night. As I said before, Jojo, Shamar and Pepe believed to be the men who were behind the act, the cruel act of shooting seven persons to fatal near 3rd Street last night. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, the fatherless crew have been around for a very long time decades I must say and this gang has taken out of lives create a lot of havoc and mayhem all over Jamaica especially in the trench town Rima area yes man over a decade this gang has been reigning they have been through a lot of leaders a lot of gang leaders have been killed and another one rise this gang is no joke it's a very dangerous gang and it's always getting stronger and stronger in new recruits. As I said before, the fatherless crew is one of the most vicious gang in Jamaica overall. The fatherless crew and Bocas gang have been at it for many years now. Yes man, they're sworn enemies, sworn enemies and it's very sad you know that these shootings at times, innocent persons are always getting involved or even killed, you know. It's like these gunmen, they go on these attacks and just buck up in rival communities, press the trigger and they don't care who die. And in most cases, the innocent persons are always the ones who are being in these deadly attacks. You know what is very sad is that you have persons in Jamaica who see these killings and say, Cho, I get up people them. I saw them out of them one either. Them loot and shoot and kill each other. And they just don't care. But I have news for you. Living in the ghetto is not easy. Many persons can tell you. I am from the ghetto. I grew up in the ghetto. So I know what it's like to hear gunshots every night. People have been murdered every night and people can get a good night's sleep because gangs are always at each other's neck. It's never a cooling point. They might cool today, but by tomorrow, the foolishness start back again. And I've heard persons say, well, 
Now we are better than yard. Jamaica is the best. And these things happen in America and other countries. But guess what? If you check the stats, every weekend or every week, you will see where Jamaica has mass shootings. It's usually sometimes two to three mass shootings per week in Jamaica. It's more than every other country in the world. Yes. Can you imagine these government go for one target and sometimes there's no target in the attack. All the victims, they are innocent and these government just don't care because they love easy target. They love easy car target. Instead of actually beefing with the gangsters, they are beef with, they attack the residents of their rival communities. And if you think that there won't be no reprisal for the killing of Cooley or Nico, think again. This is the ghetto. They have families, they have friends who will do reprisal, who will answer, who will take a life from the rival community, which stronghold has the fatherless gang. So don't think that there won't be a reprisal for this dull murder. Think again. It might come tomorrow, Sunday, or Monday. But trust me, this is ghetto. There's always a reprisal for these kinds of acts. Now, young Trivel Walker was among the victims being shot last night after gunmen from the father's crew, as I said before, launched attack on residents in 3rd Street, Bocas to be exact. Now, he's seeking your help. He needs six units of blood. He's considered in critical condition at the moment. As I made mention earlier, a young lady was shot in her head as well and she's also in critical condition. However, she's not considered dead. Now, even our children are not safe from the harms of these criminal elements. If you all know Rima, Rima is filled with a lot of criminal elements. And at times, innocent persons get caught up in the cross fire. May I tell the people? I am telling you, this is very, very sad. But I said before, and the song say, life in the ghetto, it ain't easy. However, I'm appealing to residents or anyone who can help to save this little man's life. Please do so. He needs your help urgently. He's in critical condition and he needs blood. He needs blood blood. We need to ensure that our children are secure, safe in an environment which is very peaceful. And I'm appealing to parents in the ghetto. Make all efforts, work hard, and be progressive to move from the ghetto. Because we can't allow our children to grow up in these kinds of toxic environment where there's hardly any peace. Gunmen don't care. They have no concern, they have no respect of life, and our children are at risk. Our children are constantly in harm's way every day. Now we head towards Spian Town, where violence in Spian Town never ceases. It never stops. It keeps going. In different areas. The least little thing trigger off a killing, a shootout, somebody being shot and injured. Now, last night, a lady was shot and injured in the homestead community of Spiental. Now, this lady came down from overseas to bury her daughter. However, she was shot by a stray bullet. 
Now, this stray bullet comes by the way of a shootout between men from Homestead and also men from John's Road. If you were actually listening to a video I made earlier this week, there was a kid which took place of a youth them called Romario. If you all could remember where Romario was shot and killed in 31 John's Road. And I also said that his killing will spark shootout or even a reprisal. Now, Romario was killed because men, yes, men allegedly from Homestead thought that Romario thief a car from them block and scrap it. Yeah man, scrap it. But Romario was innocent as a matter of fact. His bigger brother was the guilty one. But you know, them catch Romario and them dirt him. Forcing this shootout last night. Because I said before, you know, John's Road man them never take it lightly. They are going to attack, whether by reprisal or a shootout. Because Romario was well loved by a lot of persons, especially Bala. Yeah, man, Bala and Romario were good friends. And knowing Bala, who have linked with men from John's Road in Algoso. But guess what? There's a new hearted and sheriff in town. Now, I've thought about Fela in a lot of videos. You can go to my Spanish Town Saga playlist on my YouTube channel here. And you see all the videos which Fela is involved in. Now, Fela have transferred his donship and his reign to a youth who them call Juki. So knowing how hearted Juki is, he's now controlling fella's turf in homestead other areas. So you know say John Jord man them a try launch attack, you know Juki and his cronies are gonna defend themselves. This is very sad that this lady was injured during this shootout on Mansfield Avenue in Homestead between men from Homestead and also the rivals from John's Road. This happened last night around 9 p.m. to be exact. This is Jay Crazy again. Until then, have a blessed and safe Friday afternoon. Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity love star movements are free. J Crazy not playing in my review the thing. Then J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity love star movements are free. J Crazy not playing in my review the thing. Then. Be you the thing then, be you the thing then Jack Crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing then, review the thing then Jack Crazy